Hello students. Our next topic is passion back effect. Passion back, back effect is when magnetic field is strong, the spin orbit coupling is weak compared to the magnetic split, splitting of energy levels. So when V is strong, spin orbit coupling is weak. In this case, mu L and mu S processes separately about the field direction. We can split mu L and mu S. Right? In the presence of a strong magnetic field, anomalous Seaman effect changes into normal Seaman effect, which is the passion back effect. So, passion back effect is the uh, um, case when magnetic field is strong, so that spin orbit coupling is weak, so and we can uh, the mu L and mu S processes separately about the field direction. So, in that case, anomalous semen changes into normal semen pattern. So, the interaction energy is equal to, delta I is equal to, we split mu L and mu S. That is equal to minus mu L dot B minus mu S dot B. So, substitute mu L and mu S that is equal to E L by 2 M dot B plus E by 2 M 2 S dot B. L dot B is L set B and S dot B is S set B, we substitute it as MLH cross and MSH cross. So we get the equation E by 2 M MLH cross B plus 2 MSH cross B. That is equal to, what is E H cross by 2 M? That is Bohr magneton, we take it outside. Mu B, B is also taken out, B into ML plus 2 MS. So, the equation for interaction energy is equal to ML mu BB plus 2 MS mu BB. So, ML mu BB is the normal semen effect and the extra term is 2 MS mu BB. So, the expression is similar to normal semen effect except for the term mu BB. Right? Now, what are the selection rules? They are delta ML is equal to 0 plus or minus 1 and delta M is equal to 0. Since delta M is equal to 0, the effect of mu BB cancels. Right? So the delta MS, the change in MS is always plus or minus half. So the effect of mu BB cancels and we get a triplet as in normal semen effect. Now, next is the influence of nuclear spin which is also called the hyperfine structure. The interaction between total angular momentum J of electron and the spin angular momentum I of the nucleus okay, give rise to hyperfine structure. It is represented as HFS. So, the interaction is between total angular momentum J of the electron and the spin angular momentum I of the nucleus. So, nuclei of a many electron atom have spin angular momentum I is equal to root of I into I plus 1 H cross. So, the total angular momentum vector F is given by I plus J and F we know it is equal to root of F into F plus 1 H cross. F is the total angular momentum quantum number or HFS quantum number. Okay. Now, F can take values from j plus i to j minus i. So, when if j is greater than i, f has two i plus y, one values and if j is less than i, f has two j plus one values. Next is the selection rules for hyperfine structure. Delta f is equal to zero or plus or minus one governs the transitions. So, the interaction energy between angular momentum I and J is of the form Eij is equal to half A into F into F plus 1 minus I into I plus 1 minus J into J plus 1. But A is a constant. This is the interaction energy between the total angular momentum J of the electron and the spin angular momentum I of the nucleus. Okay. Since f is equal to i plus j, f square is i square plus j square plus 2i dot j. So, what is i dot j? That is equal to f into f plus 1 minus i into i plus 1 minus j into j plus 1 by 2. 
and i dot j is i j cos theta so cos i j is equal to f into f plus 1 minus i into i plus 1 minus j into j plus 1 by 2 root of i into i plus 1 into root of j into j plus 1 this is cos i j now combining these equations equations 1 and 2 e i j is equal to a into root of i into i plus 1 into root of j into j plus 1 cos i j now we represent this angular momentum hfs quantum number is written as a left subscript to the state symbol if for example if 2 d 5 by 2 is the state with f is equal to 3 it is written as on the left subscript to the state symbol 2 d 5 by 2 3 3 is represented here which is the HFS hyperfine structure quantum number.